Time for another lab. In this lab, we'll modify the static IP address with the NMCLI command directly in the bash shell. We're going to be working in my Debian client here for this. And you see an example in your lab documents. That's essentially what we're going to do with the Debian client. So let's move back over to the terminal. And it's important to know what the network manager names are for your network interface cards. You'll need that information when making modifications. So the command we're going to be using is nmcli connection modify. So that's nmcli connection modify. We can abbreviate that to con mod or just to cm and let's start abbreviating right off the bat so what do i want to modify i want to modify that wired connection one now here's the thing a quick little bit here the device name is ens3 but network manager is calling it wired connection one that may be different depending on what linux distribution you're running for example if you have centos they might automatically use the same name as the linux name so be ready to see that in the field ens3 might be called ens3 or eth0 might be called eth0 or whatever the name is of your card in linux it'll show that for network manager for this debian client it's showing wired connection one and i wanted to use that so we can see the difference between the names but whatever that network manager name is we're going to have to reference that if it has spaces in it we'll need double quotes and so we'll do capital W and press the tab key and it should know the rest of the name. And then we're going to make a modification here. So what do I want to do? So I want to modify the IP address of this system. Let me open up a second terminal real quick and run the NMCLI command and just verify this system is 10.0.2.52. Okay, that's good. So I want to change it. I'm going to change it to 152 just to show how to modify this. And so we need to know several things. We need to know the method that we're using, whether it's going to be a statically configured IP address or one that's coming from a DHCP server. In this case, we're choosing static. We also need to know the IP address and the net mask. And then we need to know the gateway and the DNS server that we'll be using. Those are the main components of our TCP IP configuration. We can add lots and lots more options, but those are the main things that we need. So first, we need to know the method. And the argument for this is ipv4.method. The method we're going to choose is manual. If we wanted to obtain an IP address from a DHCP server, we would just set that to auto and it would automatically grab everything we need and that would be the only configuration we'd have to do. But I don't want that. I want to show how to set this to manual. What I'm doing here is I'm kind of considering this to be a server that I'd be working at. And the reason I'm using the Debian client is just because it's a little bit easier on the eyes. The servers that I work with, you know, they can have some kind of harsh looking text. And so it's a little easier on the eyes when we work with a desktop environment. So just imagine that this is a server that we're reconfiguring. Because if you need to change IP addresses, you're going to do that with the NMCLI command. And uh, you're going to do that on servers quite often that need static IPs. So let's just imagine that that is the scenario here. So ipv4.method, we're going to say that that is manual. We are manually assigning the IP. It's a static IP address. Next, what is the IP address? The argument for that is ipv4.address. And so the address I want to use here is 10.0.2.152 24. So that's our triple 255 net mask. Next, the gateway address. The argument for that is ipv4.gateway. 
And for me, that's 10.0.2.1. And this is going to word wrap at this point. If you don't want word wrapping, you can put a backslash in here and then press enter and it'll start a second line, but this is still going to be one command. And so the next thing I need is the DNS server that I want to report to. The argument for that is IPv4.DNS. And I'm going to be using 10.0.2.1. But if you wanted to use a different DNS server, this is where you could do it. You could set it to whatever you want. I'll use 10.0.2.1. And that's it. Let's take a look at the whole command. NMCLI, connection modify, abbreviated as CM. The name of the network interface card. If it's just a single name like ENS3, you don't need double quotes. But if you have a space here, you'll either need double quotes or you'll need to set it in place. Double quotes is fine. And then our arguments, ipv4.method. Well, we're setting this as a static IP, so we state manual ipv4.address, and this is the address I want, ipv4.gateway, and this is the gateway that we want, and then ipv4.dns, and that's the DNS server I want to talk to. Again, I just separated lines with a backslash so that it didn't word wrap across the screen. We'll press enter for this. No news is good news. So the command was taken, but that's not going to modify the actual connection just yet because we have to deactivate and reactivate the system. If we were to run an NMCLI command once again in another terminal, it's still going to show as 10.0.2.52, okay? So let's down and up the network interface. We do that with the NMCLI connection down and then the name of the connection. Do we need connection down? No, it could just be CD. We'll leave it as that though. So connection down, press enter, and it says wired connection one is successfully deactivated. Good. Let's go to the other terminal again. And before we bring it back up, let's run that NMCLI command once more. When we do so, it's red. ENS3 is disconnected. So keep that in mind. Sometimes if you're troubleshooting a system that runs Network Manager, you might see this red here. And it could just be that the network interface card is not configured, or maybe it just hasn't been activated for whatever reason. Or maybe some other software has deactivated it. So red is bad, like we said, right? We don't want red. We want to make sure that we have everything green. So we have to bring it back up. So I'll just up arrow, control arrow over to down, and change that to up. Or you could abbreviate that as NMCLI CU in the name of the connection. Press enter. Connection successfully activated. Go back to my second terminal. Type NMCLI again. Green is good and we're at dot 152. Excellent. And for fun, let's add one more item. A lot of times a client will need to search for a specific domain name so that perhaps the client could become a part of that domain. And so we can do that with the NMCLI connection modify command with our wired connection. And then the argument would be ipv4.dns-search and then we'll specify the domain name that we want to search for. For example, and it's got to be in double quotes, example.local. And press enter. Good. And we'll have to down and up that connection again. So I'll just go through my history to do so. Down and up. Good. Let's go to the other terminal. And let's take a look with an NMCLI one more time here. Now you'll see we are 10.0.2.152, like we should be. We see our DNS server is this, but now we also have the domain that we're searching for, example.local. And so if we're using host names that are fully qualified domain names that include example.local on the end, now we can kind of work with that and look for that domain and possibly become a part of that domain later on. So be sure to practice with the NMCLI commands now to modify your network connection.